As protests across the country continue to call on police reform, here in LA County, Black Lives Matter has turned their focus to those who police the police. Their target, the district attorney's office. We're here to chant down Babylon. We're here to say Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey, who took office eight years ago, was the first black DA in Los Angeles, and now she's running for her third term. But recent cases like the death of George Floyd have fueled protests against her. So at this point, it could be, you know, anybody running against Jackie Lacey, and we'd say they're probably going to be better than she is. The African-American community has been highly critical of Lacey for not prosecuting LAPD officers involved in use of force cases, even in this case in Venice, when former police chief Charlie Beck recommended an officer be prosecuted. But Lacey didn't agree. She says she has carefully evaluated every case and follows the evidence. It's not that I don't have a desire to prosecute people. It's that I am bound by the law and the evidence. Lacey's family has also been the target of protest. Her husband is facing charges for pulling a gun out at BLM protesters. Despite that, Lacey still took 48% of votes in the primary. She has touted her work on dismissing 66,000 marijuana convictions in the county and a mental health program working to keep people out of the criminal justice system. There are those who just want me to toss all that out the window and just go for it, you know, just file. Uh, certain cases, and we have filed. I know how to create safer communities, and that I have done for us, a current district attorney, Hassan. Running against Lacey is George Gascon, former San Francisco DA and once an assistant police chief for LAPD. He wrote and helped pass Prop 47 six years ago. It changed state law, reducing sentences for most drug and property crimes. He's considered the more progressive candidate when it comes to criminal justice reform and has said he won't seek the death penalty if elected. He's gained the support of prominent politicians like Governor Gavin Newsom and vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris, but has faced criticism when he did not charge officers in the death of a stabbing suspect that is said to have sparked Colin Kaepernick to begin taking a knee during the national anthem. While saying that the force is unnecessary. Jackie Lacey is heavenly endorsed by labor unions, including police unions. Recently, Congressman Adam Schiff did walk back his endorsement for Lacey, while Mayor Eric Garcetti has said changes may be needed in the DA's office. Lacey believes that endorsements will only play a small part in this race. Reporting in the newsroom, Leslie Marin, CBS 2 News.